Hi everyone, welcome back to Zaxdeck. Today, we've got an exciting tutorial for you. We're going to walk you through the process of setting up your very own soft Ether VPN server right at home on your Windows system. If you've ever wanted a secure way to access your home network from anywhere in the world, this is the tutorial for you. So, let's dive right in. The first step is to download the soft Ether VPN server software. You can get it from the official website. Once the download is complete, run the installer, follow the on-screen instructions, and in just a few clicks, you'll have the soft Ether VPN server installed on your Windows machine. With the software installed, it's time to configure our VPN server. When it opens, the Soft Ether VPN Server Manager and you'll see a clean interface. Select localhost this server and hit connect. You will be prompted to create a new administrator password for localhost. Here you can create a site-to-site -site or remote access VPN server. Since we're creating a remote access VPN server, select the first option. A remote access VPN virtual private network server is a server that allows users to securely connect to a private network from a remote location over the internet. The primary purpose of a remote access VPN server is to provide authorized users with a secure and encrypted connection to the corporate or organizational network as if they were directly connected to it from within the physical office. Name your new virtual hub anything you like. We'll just leave the default name VPN. You can stick with the default settings and exit, but I recommend you change the dynamic DNS hostname to one you can easily remember. We'll change it later myself. If you have a static IP address no need to use the dynamic DNS you can disable it. On the next screen activate the Layer 2 Tunneling Protocol Server function L2TP over IPsec and select a robust shared secret. It is crucial to choose a strong shared secret to enhance the security of your network for L2 TPISEC connection. Once done, click OK. Since we're not utilizing VPN Azure Cloud in this scenario, please select the Disable VPN Azure Radio button and then proceed by clicking OK. VPN Azure is a feature within the Soft Ether VPN server software that facilitates the creation of a VPN virtual private network between a client and the server without the need for explicit VPN server setup on the client side. This feature simplifies the process for connecting to a Soft Ether VPN server by automatically configuring the client to establish a connection with the server, making it convenient for users. No need for opening ports on the firewall. If you don't know how to open ports on firewalls, you should enable this feature. I will show you how it works later. You can now create users that will connect to your VPN server. You can set up a password so users connect using a username or password. If you want you can create a certificate instead. And that's it. Your VPN server is now ready. As you can see the server is listening on the various ports. You can disable or delete some ports and just leave say port 443 if you want. What most people do not mention to newbies is that you need to open these ports on your firewall. If they are blocked you won't be able to connect. So learn about port forwarding. I'm now on a Windows 10 machine that will act as the client machine let me download and install the client software.
Let me change the DDNS hostname so I can easily remember it. Oh I already changed it. Let us now connect to the VPN. Add a new VPN and name it. Make sure you have open ports on your firewall. Name the settings any name you want. Enter your static public IP address given to you by your ISP. If your connection uses DHCP enter the dynamic DNS host name you configured earlier. Also enter the virtual hub name you configured earlier me I named it VPN earlier in the video. Also enter the username and password of the VPN user you created earlier. We are now connected as you can see. If you do not want to open up ports on firewalls this is what you can do. Just enable VPN Azure and take note of the Azure hostname. Let us now try to connect all ports are closed on the firewall. If you are not getting an IP address enable virtual NAT and DHCP server function. Otherwise, VPN clients won't be able to get an IP address from the VPN server. You can check the official documentation for more configuration scenarios. And that's a wrap for today's tutorial on setting up a soft Ether VPN server on Windows. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tech tutorials, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. If you have any questions or run into issues, drop them in the comments below. Until next time, happy browsing securely, and I'll see you in the next video.